All right, everybody. So I went ahead and got the Dagoth uh, augment. So what is Dagoth's augment? Well, we have Spectral Spirit. Spectral Spirit is an interesting augment because it gives Dagoth her uh, spectral form from Grave Spirit instantly and gives 100% chance for weapons and abilities to apply Doom. And when you are outside of your spectral form, your cooldown on Grave Spirit will decrease by one second, meaning at most it'll take you 20 kills to instantly get it. But the advantage, I guess, of this um, augment is that you're getting the crit boost instantly instead of, well, not instantly, you're getting the crit boost during it, but you're getting invulnerability for the time that you have allotted with your duration. So the more duration you pump in, the longer your time invulnerable will last, and that will also allow you to pump more uh, power strength into her, which allows you to get even higher in your uh, crit damage on top of that. Downside to it, you don't get your constant crit. The whole point of using Grave Spirit is so you cast it once and it's there as a backup in case you down, it'll stop you from dying and you'll have crit damage and doom crit damage the entire time. So how did I build around this? Well, I went with Brief Respite, but obviously I'd recommend Steel Charge. She's a melee frame after all. Blind Rage for the strength. Archon continuity, because I am too lazy to level up prime continuity. Umbral intensify for even more strength. Normal stretch just for a little bit more range. Adaptation, because when I'm outside of it, have a, a way to not die in case I do die. Obviously the augment. Prime flow for more energy and streamline to counteract the efficiency that I had, which was negative. We're running Arcane Avengers since we will be getting damage. Let's go ahead and get extra crit chance and molt augmented just to increase the crit damage from Grave Spirit when we are inside of it. So let's show off how the augment works and then go into a survival steel path, shall we? So how does this augment work? Well, once you cast your Grave Spirit, you'll become invulnerable. What I would do is apply any ability that causes damage or can cause damage just like that and just keep attacking. As long as you keep attacking, it will have a guaranteed spread. And eventually, once you pop out of your spectral form, you'll see it goes on a timer. If you kill somebody, you'll see that it goes down. What I recommend is use Breach Surge, use Pillage, use anything. I may actually not have to use, I may not use controller. I'm not used to this. Use anything that causes damage, strips shields, strips armor. They all count as damaging the enemy because I tried it with Terrify. It counted as you armor stripped. I used Pillage. It counted. I took their shields away. Use Gloom. I think it will count. I haven't tested it yet because I, I'm not the biggest fan of Gloom, but it should because you're still technically doing, you're applying something to the enemy. Uh, what else? Applying, um, I think Blood Altar might work. I am unsure on that one, though. So, obviously, as we see how it works, killing enemies decreases the timer. Let's go ahead and head to a Steel Pass Survival and see how we last in those. I think I might do, um, I might fight the Murmur. We'll find out. I'll see y'all there. All right, and here we are inside of a Steel Path Murmur mission. I haven't fought the Murmur, like, straight up in a minute. So... Let's go ahead and pop Grave Spirit instantly, and you'll see that I'm already applying Doom on every attack I cause. Pop a Breach Surge, and it just keeps spreading it. I mean, hell, I'm getting enemies from not even near me getting affected by it. Apply Word size just to spread that Doom even harder. And as soon as they die, I hit a Breach Surge, I hit one of those, and I just keep killing. Oh, I think I found the book. Oh, I did find the book. But as you see, I already got my uh, Grave Spirit back, so I can just instantly reproc it. Hit a Breach Surge. And if you have any weapon like the Torrid or anything like that, you can kind of just do this. And everything kind of now explodes, but it also all applies Doom, so everything's taking even more damage thanks to your, well, the way Grave Spirit works. It would even probably work with the Occupor. And as you see, I have lost it again, so I'm going to do this, apply one of these. So I'll back over to the Torrid, or any beam weapon, to be honest, or any weapon you have that can just kill really quickly. And as you see, I already got my Grave back. What's up? Uh, I don't know if Acolytes spawn in these missions, because I have rarely ever uh, done a Murmur survival. So I'll be back whenever one does spawn, if it does, or if anything really hard spawns. So I will see you all then.
Now, as I believe that the Acolyte, if it does spawn, should be spawning soon, something I would recommend is if you're going to use this build that I've made as a melee build, try not to do it against enemies that obviously cause damage to the ground like these do, because a big flaw in the build is since they apply corrosion a ton, I have a high chance of just dying because of the fact that they, uh, they kind of just keep applying corrosion to the ground. There's the Acolyte. And as you see, I instantly got my Grave Seer back. I brought it again and just keep swinging. That's why I said with things like um, beam weapons that hit multiple enemies in one go, they're really strong because as you see, I haven't had to really focus on anything other than attacking using some abilities and stuff like that. And my Grave Seer just ended. Let's see if I can get it back in time. Do this, do this. And it's back. Just like that. That right there is probably why I think I'll recommend Breed Surge, Pillage, or anything similar that you can hit multiple enemies in one go and classify it as damage dealing if you're using Grave Spirit. Because as you see, as I use Breed Surge, press one of these, and anything hits them, when it spreads out, it applies uh, Doom. Thanks to that Doom procking, enemies are just dying quicker and quicker and quicker, and I can just keep that cycle going just by spamming abilities. So if you want, Combat Discipline would probably work. Not Combat Discipline. Growing Power would probably work. Once again, Steel Charge, Rifle Amp, Secondary Amp, whatever weapon type you like using, go for that type of amp. Use whatever aura mod you like really enjoy. I decided to stick around a little longer, so this is a little bit of a contradiction to my previous thing where I said I'd go back to my Orbiter. I want to see how it handle against a 10-minute Acolyte, so... I mean... I mean, that seems to handle quite well because they couldn't even disable it because that one usually disables abilities, I think, but I could be mistaken for the other one. But hey, as you can see, I'm not struggling. I haven't died yet. Got a ton of enemies, though. So this time I'll actually head back to my uh, my orbiter. Oh, I think I might actually die for once. Ah, who am I kidding? I'm alive again. I'll see you all back in my orbiter. And we're back. So what do I think about the augment? How does it work overall? And... Would I recommend it? The Augment, a very fun Augment. To be honest, one of the better Augments I've played with. Is it worth it on every build? Not every build, obviously, but it is good on certain builds. Is this build perfect? No, I'd say change adaptation to be more uh, power strength or more duration. Change Brief or Spite to either be Steel Charge, Pistol Amp, uh, whatever you prefer for your builds, obviously, because she is a open book. I think whatever makes your weapons do more damage, go for it, because she's a weapons platform. She's a really strong weapons platform and take off her four, which is her uh, Rekiel's Cavalry, but it would still work with the build. You could replace her word sites or her doom, but you would not replace her grave spirit. If you guys enjoyed this video, do hit the like button. Comment down below how y'all build your Dagoth with this augment, because I think it's actually one of the better ways to play her, obviously. And subscribe and hit that bell for post notifications so you always get notified whenever I post another video, because I do appreciate all the comments y'all have been making, and y'all really did blow up my last video. That Saren video, in like two days, already had 2,000 views. Like, that is, that is wild to me, how fast y'all got my um, video up. And I do appreciate it. Like, the AX52 video... Um, 2k views the sarin and Cedo and contagion build 2.7k makes my day it actually does because i've always wanted to be a youtuber and knowing that i'm my views my videos are getting views makes me so happy so i'll see y'all in the next video i'll probably try to get the corvax augment from somebody unless one of y'all gets it to me that would be that'd be very sweet of you see y'all in the next one peace out everybody